Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello. How are you? Fine, fine. Um, uh, everything was fine this uh, today. <laughs> um, that's great. That's great. And what about you, teacher? How's everything? Well, here, you know, same old story. Same old story, working, working, and working. Okay, yeah. But um, I, I hear that you go to gym, right? Yeah, yeah, but today, I mean, Wednesdays is the day that I don't go. I go Monday, Tuesday, uh, Thursday, and Friday. Usually on Wednesdays, I cannot go because I am uh, I have a meeting right before this class. What about you? Do you like going to the gym? Mm, no, no. Uh, I can have that. Uh, you don't have enough time, I imagine. No, no, that um, will be a problem. Mm. Discipline or no? Discipline? Oh, I know, it's hard, it's hard. I mean, believe me, sometimes I feel like, man, I'm too tired, too stressed. But in the end, you know, it, it's really helpful and uh, yeah. and it's worth it because believe yeah, me, I am I am lazy. I am pretty lazy. I mean, for doing exercise, I'm like, oh, no, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. But once I am there, I start exercising, and I'm cool. Yeah, yeah, I I know. Uh, when you are doing that, that those exercise, at the end, you know that it's good for our health so it, it motivates you and for me I, I usually do exercise in my house no no i don't used to go to a one place specific to the gym i don't think um, perhaps in the future but right now i have no so much time to do that but i would like to I would like to because, because I, I try to do exercise in my house, but, but I I know that it's not the same. It's not the same than, than, than going to the gym and, and do exercise in a specific machine. Yeah, well, you know, uh, in the hard time of the pandemic, when we were not allowed to, to go out, we used to exercise here at home. And, and it was good because we used to do exercise like one hour, follow on a specific routine. It was pretty nice. But as you said, you must have the discipline in order to make it. Right, Marcus? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, I, uh, someday I don't have so, mu so much time to, to do exercise and and I decide if I do it or not and and if I pay for for a membership yeah. to a gym <laughs> you feel like push to go right yes yes yeah I totally so, understand you that's what happens to me I mean I pay so I know that I'm paying I go Yeah, uh, that uh, pushed me to, to go. So, um, so when I am doing exercise in my home, uh, as I told you, some, some days I decide to don't. To exercise a little bit. Uh, yeah. Or not to exercise. A half hour, yeah. Sometimes I'm tired and sometimes uh, not that much. So I decide and if I pay for a membership, uh, it will be different, a different thing. I am, um, yeah, I will be, um, I believe I will. 
push bound. to bound. Yeah, bound. Perfect. Bound to, to, to go to the gym because I pay the membership. So hey, it's a free, it's a, a little bit of freedom in, in that case. And in, 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 in the current situation, I am about to do exercise in my house. Yeah, of course, I totally understand. But well, my I think yeah, tell me. I think in, in the future uh, I will be able to, to go to the gym. It's cool, it's I, cool. I mean it. I wish in my case I wish I I had taken that decision before because it's cool. Marcos, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Okay, teacher, thank you. Heidi, hello Heidi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Heidi. Come on, what happened yesterday? I was missing you. My kids were a little bit. Oh. Sick yet, not a little bit. I, I took them the COVID test today here at home oh, really? and they're negative. Mm -hmm. oh, that's good. Yeah, but they're still not okay. Yeah, and that's, that's a big problem when kids get like that. And the three of them or just one? No, just the two. The two little two. ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a stressful. I mean, and nowadays because of the virus, we get more stressed and anxious. Yeah, I got I got nervous because my oldest daughter, she got COVID. Oh, really? Uh, but in January. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. But no yeah, one no. else at home got it. Yeah, you know, the same happened. Well, something like that happened to us. Uh, my in-laws, they live like two blocks from here. And I mean, and we usually go there and spend time like on a regular basis. And they got sick, they got it. Uh, let's see how many of them, one, two, three, four, five. Five of them got it. And we were worried, actually, I took my family, we went and the three of us got tested, we got negative, they got positive, and it was complex, pretty complex. Yeah, here I am. Yeah. Yeah, and you are, I mean, as a parent, we were like really worried about that. Mm -hmm. oh, but thanks, God. I mean, it's not that. Mm -hmm. God is not that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little treatment, a lot of attention because I mean, little kiddos get they get like they need. I wish I, I didn't want to go to work today, but yeah, I had. Oh, no, I know. And and kids are like that. They in those situations, the only word they got on their mouth is "mom," right? They need yeah. their mama. Yeah. Yeah, and it's I mean it, it really breaks our hearts as parents to to know that we have to go out. Yeah, and I told you the day before yesterday, right? That nothing breaks me down like when they're see. I don't yeah, know why. Of course. No. Yeah, we know. yeah, you are a mother, that's normal. That's normal. In my case, you know, my problem is that. I get a uh, kind of cranky. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get stressed when my son, when my son or when my wife, they get sick. In my case, uh, I don't know, perhaps it's my, my defense is that I get like angry. I mm -hmm. get like pretty touchy. I mean, because I'm stressed, because I'm worried. And my problem, you know, is that I'm not the type of person who's going to express the feeling like, like I'm not that tender. So, uh, I mean, I am usually pretty serious. So when those situations happens, I mean, I am, I get very strict with them, like take your medicines and don't go out uh, with my wife. Okay, don't do nothing. Stay in your bed, relax, rest. Mm -hmm. And if they don't do that, if I see them around the house, I'm like telling them, go to your room, go to bed. But it's the same. I mean, it's the, the same stress. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you as a mother, that's terrible. Yeah. 
Yeah, it will get better. First guy. Yeah, yeah, sure. You know, kids, they, they are very, very sturdy. You know that word? Mm -mm. No. Okay, let me text it for you. Okay. Uh, here you go. Let's see. Kids are very sturdy. Usually, that word we use it for stuff. Uh, when we say strong, vigoroso, fuerte, they mm -hmm. are like that. I mean, they kick back fast. And that's something good. Mm -hmm. And and there's another difference. I mean, when they're kids, they're cool. You know, we men, when we grow up, we get a we get the flu, we get a cold, and we are dying. <laughs> men are like that. Yeah, it's because the flu for our for us is stronger than for you. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. But man, whenever I get the flu, I'm like, man, I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah. I don't wanna even stand up. But yeah, we are such uh, sometimes we are cry babies. <laughs> and you know, the worst thing in my case is that I hate shots to get a vaccine. Uh, in my case, whatever medicine, give me a pill. That's what I want. I don't want shots. I hate shots. I get nervous. I'm a crybaby for those things. Mama. Oh, you're busy. Don't worry. Don't worry, Katie. We're going to talk later. Okay. Okay. Take Thank care. You. Take care of it. I mean, Thank you me. got priorities, my dear. Don't worry. Thank you. Jose Wilfredo. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good Isn't evening. it right? Isn't it right, Jose Wilfredo, that the flu for us men is stronger? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's terrible, right. right. I don't know, but yeah, it's terrible. I know. It's terrible. That's I mean, for women, for for women, the, the flu is something simple, easy. Yeah. Uh, for us like men, it's terrible. One, it's like a one hair is pulled down, something like that. Yeah, yeah. For them, it's not a problem, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah i don't know i don't know why but uh, i mean we men we are weak you know uh, as an example my father he's a very strong sturdy man and i mean he's got uh, he can have his his sugar high his blood pressure high no problem he gets the flu man that's two days on bail with a hood, you know, covering and getting pills. What about you? Oh, for me, when I got a phone, I take a pill. And do you take shots? Uh, yes, just to clear it through. Really? Man, I, yeah. to be honest with you, in my whole life, I have never taken a shot for the flu. No way. Jose. <laughs> I get oh, so just two or scared. three, and that's it. No way, Jose. Man, those things, I'm scared. Believe me, scared. Okay. I don't know why, but those things, I mean, it's, oh, it's almost I don't like know a phobia that, for me. I don't it's know a, if that's okay. Yeah, I don't know if that's okay. You say I'm I gargly. I what? Gargly. Gargle. Oh, gargle. Gargle, I guess. Gargle. Gargle is. Gargle is uh -huh. like when you. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. Gargle. Yeah. Just when so one, you and then I I I drink three. Yeah, oh, really? that's it. Yeah. I don't have okay. a flu since three years ago, I guess. Hmm. 
the same. I mean, in my case, oh, it's been years, many years for me without getting the flu. What I get, what I usually get is infections on my throat, you know? Oh yeah, I know. But the flu, the flu, many years, many, many yeah. years. I get that shot, uh, that shot I get it because I know it works for me, the one for influenza. I get it uh, the whole year, I'm like, cool, no problem. Mm -hmm. Wow. But yeah. Um, I don't have a flu even like, three years ago, I guess. I have a long time with a flu. Yeah, the same, likewise. I mean, in my case, I guess it was like five or six years ago, last time I got a flu. And, mm -hmm. and you know, I have, I have been riding the motorcycle under heavy storms, like every other day and no problem. Mm -hmm. I have yeah. a ride to my house, suck too. And no problem, and that's not a problem. The following day, the next day, I'm like, cool, no problem. Okay, in my case, I play soccer when it's raining, uh, no problem, but not when it's raining, uh, start to, to, to play. Yeah, if not, sometimes that, you're playing we are and it play. starts to rain. Yeah, yeah you that's, keep on. Right. that's right. Yeah, that's right. We continue playing, but never I got a fool. That's cool, yeah. I mean, we're strong, we're strong, we're sturdy. Yeah, that's right, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we got uh, good defenses and a good diet helps. Once in a while, taking vitamins helps. Mm -hmm. I guess and, that... And tell me, Jose Wilfredo, how was today? How was your day? Oh, everything good. So far, say good teacher. I got a new access from another tool and was really entertained really yeah that's right because i check i could check other uh, line of business so oh, that's nice for me it's a uh, good yeah uh, okay. just uh, one co-worker let me how to use and then uh, i practice it and then i continue uh, using for the whole day and was really good for me because I learned something new. That's great, that's great. Way to go, my yeah. friend. Yeah. Excellent, and excellent. Well, welcome to the class, Mr. Wilfredo. Thank you, teacher. I'm really oh, appreciate Thanks to you for being here. Okay. Oh, Heidi's back, that's cool. Kids were calling for your attention, right? Yeah. When they are like that, they they and they got I got two nannies, you know, but they want to be with me. Yeah, as I told you, the only the first word it comes to their mouth is mama. <laughs> that's exactly. normal. That's normal. You know, that's that's part of the game. Mm -hmm. I mean. When you sign up for being a mother, it, it that's in the in the small letters. The small letters. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but it's good to have you here. Let us know if you need sometimes to cover something and you cannot participate in an activity. Just let me know and I'll take it into an account. They, went, they went to bed already. It's okay. Yeah, it's just that when they get like sick, they kick their kind of moody. Mm -hmm. But it's cool, you know, it's it's a nice experience in the end, right? I mean, right. I am sure, I am sure. Uh, I mean, I respect your activities and your job and everything. But I am sure that the the moment when you feel more important in your day is when, when you feel that you have helped them. Exactly. Mm -hmm, that's mean, right. It doesn't matter your position in your job, all your responsibilities, but when you see that your kid looks at you for help and that you are able to help them, you feel great. It's true. And that's Absolutely. also, and it, the, exactly that same thing is the bad thing because when mm -hmm. they get sick and we cannot help them, we feel frustrated. Mm -hmm. 
I've been there, done that, nice. but that's why I, I don't want no more little kiddos. Man, I'm too old. <laughs> I'm too old for that. Highly <laughs> welcome. Nice having Thank you, you here. Teacher. Okay, Roxana. Hello, Roxana. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I think that as I'm fine. <laughs> you think that you are fine. Yeah. Well, this week for me is kind of uh, hard because I have a lot of um, pending in my work. I'm in closing now and I need to support to my son in the to help my son. Platform. I need to help my son about the platform because um, he needs to he needs to, to, no sé, to vivir, that is. upload up upload upload he yeah. needs upload. needs to up, upload a uh, homework and I need to prepare the documents and prepare the PDF and send the homework. And we have a lot of work. And the other hand, um, let me see. Um, I was working until 7 p.m. because I need to, I needed to uh, check a lot of um, dif difference, uh, differences, a lot of difference. differences. Differences and some reports. So it's really um, stressful because I need to uh, organize the regular time, regular time in the dial activities and the closing. But everything oh. is okay. I think that it was a productive day, and okay, I'm tired, cool. but. Everything is okay. And I need to work with my son and, uh, and his stuff. And you know, I need more hours in the day. Oh, well, yeah, everybody does, believe me. Nowadays with the pace of life, everybody needs a couple of extra hours. Yes. I mean, believe me, I'm, I'm a workaholic, you know it. I'm used to be working all the time. And mm -hmm. right now I need like a couple of hours to rest. Yes, I imagine. But what can we do? I mean, yes. just keep on working, keep on working and hoping for the best. Yeah, the thing is that when you don't have uh, a lot of work, you need more activities to do. For example, in vacation. Yeah. It's a stressful be at home all the time. Well, you know, I'm working at home, but I I I I mean I refer I'm working from work. home. I'm working from home, but in vacation maybe it's different because yeah. Today, I don't know if I will have vacation, but if I have, I don't know, I think that I, I need, I will need something to do. You will need something to do. Mm -hmm. If you get vacation, you will need extra work. Mm -hmm. That's this this week will be calm. So this week for me is hard, but the next, if I have vacation, that week will be too calm. Okay. So you got used to the hectic pace of life. Interesting, interesting. I know, I know the feeling. I totally know the feeling, don't worry. Well, you know what? I got a lot of work to do at home. I need I need to paint the house, 
perhaps I make a small project. I want to change a part of the ceiling. I'll hire you. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of work here. Yeah, I always got something to do on vacation. I prepare one month before from my vacation so I can have something to do. Otherwise, I think I will get them crazy. Yes, I imagine. Yeah, because that's something else that gets me cranky when I'm too bored, when I don't have nothing to do, I get cranky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, Roxana, nice, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you. Guys, let me get the attendance, please. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Amber Eli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Here I am, teacher. Thank you. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorco. Present. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ibeda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Filmen Frank Figueroa Peñate. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Okay, let's see. Well, tonight's class is going to be mostly conversation. Tomorrow we are going to work in the manual and Friday. Tomorrow and Friday we have a lot to do from the manual. A little bit of grammar explanation. Tomorrow we're going to be working with tag endings. Friday we're going to be working with indefinite pronouns. In the grammar part, vocabulary related to, to the same topic we've been talking about, but today is going to be just two exercises we're going to do from the manual. So that means that we have time to practice speaking, and that's great. I just, I still have five minutes to have little conversations. Let's see who's, 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 who's available. Jose Rivas, hello, good evening, how are you? Right, teacher. Thanks for asking. Okay, tell me, how was the day? Um, I can say that was good. So it's doing right too, because I think that it's better than the previous week. That's so, cool. Yeah. That's good to know. So you're doing okay. Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, I feel better. So, because I remember uh, previous Monday, sorry, Wednesday. Last, so I previous, uh huh. I last, was, we say last Monday, last Wednesday. Okay, last Wednesday. So, it was a terrible day. And also Thursday. But really? this week, so it's doing great. So, it's going. So far, so good, you can say, because there are some things that actually I would like to uh, get like more spaces or time to do something, but actually with the time that I have, I can say that it's good. So I, I don't have any complaint because if I complain, so the stuff that is hap that are happening now, probably uh, I, how, how can I say, estoy llamando, like, la tormenta. Vi un, un, un idiom que, que decía eso, como, don't say uh, things because you are, like, asking for yeah. something bad. But I don't you remember. You're asking for it. You're asking for it. For it. For it? Or yeah. What is the word? It. 
asking for it. Oh, if, if asking. Yeah, you're asking for it if you start complaining. Mm -hmm. So that's why I don't want to complain about it. So. Well, now, so uh, I can say that it's good, but tomorrow probably not because again, so they changed the schedule for tomorrow and I have to start tomorrow around 7 a.m. And today I will finish around 11. I think that it, I will rest just for six hours in health. So it's not good for me because I usually <laughs> sleep around yeah. Yeah. eight hours. Eight hours. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, you will feel the difference totally. <laughs> totally. Totally. Yeah, I understand you well. Let's see. No, in my case, you know, the difference is that I'm used to sleep like five. Five hours for me is okay. Six, it's fine. If I sleep more than more than seven or eight hours, man, that's a terrible day for me. I don't know why, but the rest of the day, I'm sleepy. <laughs> well, but... Yeah, and my body is as crazy as my mind, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you get used to that's the thing. Yeah, because for me, I mean, sleeping from five to six hours is cool. I mean, the rest of the day, I'm fine. But, but more than sleeping six. eight hours, man, no, for me, it's no good. <laughs> so you will have a bad day. Yeah, it's just that, you know, whenever I sleep that long, I wake up and I'm, I'm like moody the rest of the day. <laughs> As I tell you, I think there's something wrong in here. That must be it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Rivas, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. And still that one. Who is it going to be? Ramon. Hello, Ramon. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? Oh, uh, you know, yeah, same old story. Same old story as usual. How was your day? It's very, uh, I don't know, how do you say, más o menos, so, so, I think. Really? Yeah, um, I have to, I, ha I need to, to, to do only um, activities about the, that, I don't know, these days, and, uh, I do uh, everything I I haven't I I, I don't know I I need I need it. Yeah. It's, oh, uh, busy. Yeah, uh, but it, it was a productive day. Okay, that's great. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's great. I mean, whenever you can say that it's been a productive day, that's cool. And we're in the middle of the week, so I mean, we are just waiting, missing two days. Well, I don't know. In your case, do you work Saturdays? Uh, sometimes. Uh, what about this coming Saturday? Are you going to be working? Yes, I'm, I'm working. Uh, I, I wake up around 6 a.m. and then I have to send a lot of information about sales uh, about uh, all other other life days and the uh, the week okay well let's hope you have a good week my friend welcome to the classroom nice having you here Okay, thank you, Disha. No, thanks to you. Hey, guys, well, let's change the pace of the class.
Uh, welcome all of you. I mean, the ones that I couldn't talk to, I'm so sorry, but we need to move on. Another exercise. So welcome, Nicholas, Susanna, Rebecca, Stephanie, Jacqueline, Francisco, and Ambar, and Claudia. Uh, tonight we are having a, a couple of exercises, pretty interesting, you know? And let me start by telling you that I need some advice. You know, I need some advice and I don't know, you gotta help me. Okay. Heidi, you know, we are close friends. We have known each other since, I don't know, 30 years ago. I mean, you, we met each other when we were like teenagers, kids, kids. Let's say kids, 30 years ago, we were little kids. Okay, so. Okay. So, you know, uh, but after a time you notice that I had, I got a bad habit, you know? I started smoking and I wanna quit smoking. What should I do? Please help me out, give me an advice. You could start exercising more. For example, I've heard that if you go out cycling, uh, your, your anxiety, anxiety, yeah. Uh, goes lower and you can start uh, step by step not not leaving maybe the not leaving the cigarette in a whole day but step by step you can start not, not quitting at once not quitting at once exactly okay. so go slowly like start diminishing the quantity exactly yeah, because you know I have tried bapping. You know bapping? Yes, but it's not healthy. Yeah, I tried that I heard one. It's not Didn't healthy. work. Mm -hmm. I tried gum. Nicotine gum didn't work. But you do want to leave it, right? I guess so. You do. Then, then you have to make a, a big effort. Okay. Have to make a big effort and start doing um, things that that help you calm down. Okay, well, thank you. Appreciate it, Stephanie. The same question for you. I wanna quit smoking. What should I do? Oops, Stephanie. I guess we are having problems with your microphone. Because we do not hear you. Let's see. Let's try later, Stephanie. Francisco, what do you think? What advice could you give me? Hello, teacher. Hello. Thank you. Dice, could you repeat me the, the question, please? Uh, look at me. I want to stop. I want to quit smoking. What should I do? A smoke? Yeah. No, teacher. <laughs> I, I don't want to do it no more. So what advice can you be, give me? When I say I want to quit, es, quiero dejar. Oh. Eh, so, what advice can you give me? You want to live, uh, live? Yeah, uh, no, quit, quit. Quit, ah, okay, okay. fish. Um, uh, is, uh, how do you say teacher, poco a poco? Step by step? Oh, the same way about as Haiti. To go step by step, to go slowly. Right, uh, I think, uh, I, uh, in my case, uh, I don't, uh, I never, uh, how do you I say? Never. I never smoking. Uh, I have never smoked. I have never smoked. But uh, is, uh, smoking is a, a, a vice. And the problem is that the, the body uh, is used to it to, to that. And yeah, addiction. You get addicted. Addiction. 
And if you want to cook it uh, uh, by the streak, uh, uh, how do you say it? the golpe, teacher? Or at once. At? At once. At once. Yep. Like this, at once. De una sola vez. At once. Ah, okay, teacher. Uh, if you want a uh, quit at once, uh, it's probably that uh, you, you don't do. Don't you are not able to. Yeah. Yeah, terrible, terrible. Anxiety and stuff. Interesting. Thank you for your advice, Francisco. Appreciate it. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Anna Claudia, hello. I got great news for you. <laughs> okay. Um, the advice. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, okay. hold on. Next, next, next. Okay. Look at this. I just won a hundred thousand dollars. Wow. And I don't know how to spend it. You are one of my best friends. Tell me, <laughs> what should I do? Eh, let me see. Um, if you won one thousand dollars, why do you want to spend them? Why don't you think in saving, thinking fifty percent and fifty percent? Uh, I don't know if you have a list uh, about your uh, desires or dreams. I think that maybe you want to travel, you want to go and travel to other countries around the world. But also remember that it's important to invest a part of this money. So maybe you can start thinking and dividing the money and uh, like a 50-50 situation and thinking you just have the, the half, uh, $50,000. And thinking on that, you can make a budget, and you can um, make a list uh, if you want to um, spend part of it on travel, another one help others on your family. I don't know if you already own your house or if you want to invest in that one. Uh, and but I got a mortgage it. up to here. Oh, you can. You can pay all the mortgage. That would be a good idea. Pay up. In this case, would be pay up. Pay up? Yeah, because you're saying pay in total. Pay out. Up. Oh, pay up. Ah, I'm going to write. Pay at the mortgage. And that will bring you uh, peace of mind, which is very important. There is no price for that, I think if you are asking for my advice. And on the other hand, with the other half, is good if you don't know nothing about investment or how to admin that money, you can look for a good administrator or look for um, some, I don't know what it is. I think the assessor, how would it be? To advise you? advisor okay for an advisor and they can give you a different view because it's not necessary for you to spend all okay, your money perfect thank you mm -hmm. you're welcome maria alejandra hello maria alejandra Hi, good evening good evening maria alejandra well you know I have always noticed, Maria Alejandra, that you are a very fit person. And I mean, you always keep in shape. That's great. But you know what? I have a problem. I gained a lot of weight in the last few years. I'm fat, big. I want to lose at least 10 kilograms. What should I do? <laughs> um, 
I maybe you need a visit a nutritionist. Uh, and you will start a different uh, option. You will start a uh, eat for different options. Uh, uh, no. You mean to change my diet? Uh -huh. You need to change your diet and your different uh, beverage or drinks to put in your uh, different uh, meals or the lunch or breakfast or oh, like no eat. more soda I love soda uh -huh. <laughs> no more soda uh, and you drink more water and okay. I think that it's very important to uh, start with a uh, little exercise and you change a different week to the time to dedicate for to your body uh, assimilate <laughs> assimilate. Uh -huh, assimilate or uh, we are resist or re resistance okay and maybe you you see a little a uh, results and but the difference when pass a lot more time and you see maybe uh, less the a kilo or a pound in different times of the month and you feel better this is your proposal your proposal okay. Okay. Let me get just a little note. Um, okay. Perfect. Let's see. Well, so she told me that I am too fat. I need to uh, do exercise. I need better she says okay well 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 now let's see stephanie you ready can you hear me now yep i do okay oh. perfect okay stephanie you know we are friends we've been friends for a while okay and i trust you Totally. So today I need your advice. I'm in a big, big problem, Stephanie. Okay. My problem is problem? this. I have just lost my job. And I haven't told my wife yet. How should I tell her? Mm, well, I think you maybe need to say here, okay? I want to speak with you about a little talk. bit important. I want to talk. talk with you about a little bit important. And then you can say her, you can tell her, tell her that you that you need uh, all her comprehension about understanding. Your problem. Understanding about all your no <laughs> that she all her un understanding over her understanding about your problem and then you have to feel comfortable about 
what you're gonna tell her because she's your wife and she is your supporting about your uh -huh. marriage. And <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm dead meat. I'm dead meat. <laughs> I think I don't know. <laughs> Maybe because I'm not very, but <laughs> But yes, you just have to take a breath and tell her about if you have any plans to do about if you if you lose your problem, you can tell her, OK, I think I can do this. I will start to search a new job or I have plan plan A, B, C, and maybe she will think we feel better with with the problem you know it's not easy to lose your job but things happen you know but maybe you can work together and get improve all the things i don't know perfect thank you appreciate it you're welcome okay let's see let's see roxana you're gonna help me hi Hi. Well, I need your help and I need Jacqueline's help. Both of you together. Please, Jacqueline, hello. Okay, teacher. Okay, look. Well, uh, as we are talking about advices, uh, I need your help. I big help, you know. Uh, I just got a baby. My son is like four months old. Okay? He's a little baby. But my problem is this, my child wakes up very often in the middle of the night. He sleeps usually during the day. Now I haven't had a, any good sleep for weeks. What should I do? Because I mean, I wish I could strangle, but that's not an option. So what advices you two girls can give me, Jacqueline and Roxana? Well, Frey, um, the first, uh, you need to check if the baby is getting the um, measure correct about his uh, milk. Maybe you can uh, use a mix with um, the stool. And I don't know, some people used to... My my grandmother, my grandma usually does no did did uh, that with my mother and she told me that I could use that with my son and I change that um, at all and use the stone. Maybe if you prepare a mix with the milk, your baby will sleep, sleep, better. At night. sleep better at night. Okay, I perfect. think when they have uh, enough uh, feel. Okay, perfect, thank you. Jacqueline. What's your advice? Well, teacher, you told us that your baby ha is four months. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, well, um, I got a lot of experience with my babies, with my children. And uh, just to mention some advices, I will tell you that uh, you have to, to do a schedule. And uh, also you can uh, adequate uh, the room, the baby's room with, uh, without any light uh, at night. And, and the, a day in the day, sorry, in the morning and afternoon you can uh, do many activities with your baby. Uh, I don't know how do you say in English. Um, actividades sensoriales or something like that. That's to, sensorial. Ludics, no. you mean? Ludics, yes. That's the right word. 
um, ludic uh, activities to to maintain um despierto awake awake thank you awake and well um, or the, your baby should take just a shorter uh, naps, naps a day okay. mm -hmm. yeah Excellent. thank you very much great mm -hmm. advice girls thank you okay ambar hello ambar where are you my dear all right there hello hello ambar you know we are friends ambar we've been friends for a long while but you know today i feel sad ambar tell me what would you do to cheer me up to motivate me <laughs> I don't know. You should try to spend more time with your family because the family is the most important thing uh, uh, we have. And I think your family can can you make make you feel better. <laughs> Sorry. To spend time with my family. Actually, that's a pretty nice advice. You are very <laughs> savvy. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. you, teacher. Jose okay. Wilfredo. <laughs> Say Wilfredo, hello. Perhaps please. Okay. Let's... Oh, there you are, my friend. Look, you know, uh, uh, you are my boss. And you have a problem with me right now. You know, I am always late. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I am always late for work. For work, what should I do? Uh, well, first, when uh, you need to be for uh, when when you want to be part first. Yeah, one second. Okay, maybe the first what I what I need to know is the reason maybe i could ask the reason a um i a douglas let me know why you arrive late every day to be honest with you you know uh, lately it's been happening to me for everything not just for work i mean if i have an appointment with the doctor i don't know why i always get late if i have a uh gathering with my family i get late i don't know i don't know what's going on but i'm always late for everything okay we can do something we first i i will give you a, a piece of paper and a pencil to take a note yeah at what time do you get up at what time do you do your normally day then I need a, you show me that paper to to watch to watch to watch it what's going on on when then we can modify the schedule to do the activities to help you uh, to be early on every activity and then we can fix it. Excellent, awesome, great, thank you. Okay, let's see. I'm sorry, Heidi, but I'm sorry to repeat you this fast, but this question is exactly for you. Let's see. Heidi, you're around. Hello, teacher. Okay, this question is for you. You know, uh, mm -hmm. 
uh, I'm a client, I'm your client. And you know, in the last two months, I have gone to your agency for exactly the same problem. I have attended your agency five times in the last two months for this problem. I keep losing my credit card. What should I do? What do you recommend me to do? Because I mean, it's a problem to be dealing with this. Well, you should keep it in the same place. And every time you buy something, you make sure you're giving back the credit card. Keep it in the same place and make sure I, whenever I pay, I have it there. Okay. Do you, do you happen to have clients like that? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry for everybody, but uh, these young people who work, some, work in, in call centers, they're specialists losing their debit cards. I don't know why. I don't know what they do with the cards, but well, I have, I have I have a couple of friends that have that problem, and I know why it happened, but I cannot tell you. <laughs> oh no, you tell me. <laughs> uh, they go have fun, and uh -huh. it is so much fun that they forget it. I was afraid it was that. Yeah, no, totally, totally. I mean, you know, I used to have some friends that we used to ride together for work and, and they used to work in, I mean, PP, in, uh, let's see, Sykes also, and what was the other one? Man, I don't remember the Converges. And almost, I mean, every payday, at least one of them, used to lose his debit card. It was like mandatory, at least one of them. And we used to ride like five of us, always in the same car. And okay. it was like mandatory. At least one of them was losing it. Mm -hmm. And once, to be honest with you, when I arrived to their job, uh, because whenever there was payday, I was the designated driver. Mm -hmm. And okay. you can imagine why. <laughs> Once, I mean, they have they have finished working that day at uh, their shift ended at four for something. I passed by picking them up at six p.m. Three of them at that time had already lost it. Mm. Really? Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah, but that's the reason. You see, that was your question. That was exactly totally for you. <laughs> Thank you, I Heidi. knew it was. I knew it was because of that that they 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 lost it yeah, every yeah. single month. Yeah, that happens a lot. Don't worry. The don't terrible worry. thing is that they realize they have lost it until the payday. Yeah. Not before, but the payday. <laughs> yeah, and they are on a rush. They want it now. Mm, they want it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they postpone it most of the time. And remember, those people they work on. Um, I mean, they got goals and they don't want to lose bonuses. And sometimes they get bonuses for, I guess, one bonus for attendance, one extra bonus for uh, quality control. And I mean, like the attendance, if you ask for one permission, it's lost. If you arrive to your job like uh, one minute late, it's lost. So they don't want to lose time, but they lose everything else. Got it. Talking about Thank attendance. It's time, isn't it? Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I was already to go jump into the next question. Let me get the attendance, guys. Uh, Ada Susana Casares Mendoza. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Naftali Mendes Torres. Here I am, here I am, teacher. Here, here. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Thank you. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. I'm here. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. 
José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorte. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Belman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Okay, let's see. Just a second, guys. I need to make a small report. Okay, let's see. Let's continue. Next, 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 next. We are still talking about advice. Okay, let's see who's. Rebecca, hello, Rebecca. You around? Okay, let's see. Henry, hello, Henry. Hello, teacher. Good, good evening. Good evening. Oh, okay, Henry, I know that you are young and you are single and you like to go out with your friends and stuff, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. Look, you know, I am new in this city. I would okay. love to meet some, some people. What should I do? Where should I go? Okay, well, Douglas, what do you think about what do you think if we gonna to know the city maybe in the weekend we can go to visit different places in the capital uh, we go to the park we maybe if you want we can go to the beach and we can know different people there uh, I don't know if you are agree Okay, nice. Thank you for being willing to, to go with me. Excellent, Henry. Well done. Okay, thank you, teacher. No problem, no problem. <laughs> Let's see. Nicolas. Okay, Nicolas. Uh, okay, maybe just that. Maybe oh. we can go to Sorry, Henry. Sorry, Henry. We are losing you. Let's see. Sorry, sorry. I'm I sorry. Your connection. Yeah, I guess your connection got wrong. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll have time later for talking. Okay, Nicholas. Nicholas, you are a very serious person, and you are very successful of course, in your life. Of course. And you're very successful in your life. I mean, you got a family, you got a steady job. Well, you got more than one job. But you know what? I am pretty young. I am 25. And I got a question for you. I want to get rich quickly. What should I do? What advice would you give me? Um... Well, well, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Uh, well, I think it's very difficult today uh, uh, get to get rich quickly because um, it's necessary, for example, uh, to burn in, in, in the, in the knuckle, nucleo, or in the nucleus. In a yeah. nucleus or family, for example, Bukele, with much money. Okay, or, well, they don't need to get rich. They are already rich. 
I. Of course, of course. But in my case, I want to get rich. I am poor right now. Oh. Well, uh, I, I think it's very important uh, to work, of course. Okay. Uh, study, uh, do, do, do study. Uh, uh, but today, the different technicals or practice of the persons, for example, uh, the industry or the carpinteria, carpenter, for example, the carpenter do to prepare different uh, cosas. Stuff. Salt. Stuff. Stuff. Uh, and and uh, how do you say different is to sell and to sell a different stuff is is a is a form for is a form to make of, money to make money yes okay. uh, of course of course i'm sorry teacher is oh, necessary excellent. is necessary is necessary uh, quitarse la vergüenza okay Hmm. To be outgoing. To be outgoing. Outgoing. Uh, outgoing. Outgoing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It, of course, is is necessary. Uh, but uh, because see, uh, is necessary to practice this active to give up going. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's see. This next one is for a lady and for a guy. Let's see who's going to help me. Marcos. Hello, teacher. Marcos, you know, today I want to die. My life is over right now. My girlfriend left me. I feel depressed. What should I do? Mm. You should do activities that get free your mind from that feeling, from that uh, depressive feeling. For example, you should hang out with your friends. And okay, should... they are her friends, so they remind me of her. Okay, the... mm -hmm. should should we have other friends from another party? You know, um, but if you don't have that friends, you can hang out by by your own. You can go to write other while uh, bicycle or your motorcycle it is a very funny activity that uh, liberate your mind. And for example, too, you can take a walk or do some exercise, it will be very helpful. And another thing I like to advise you is and tell someone, for example, uh, from your family, perhaps, it would be very helpful to, to share that feeling with someone else to get rid of that shame. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Marcos. Roxana, the same question for you. She left me. I feel depressed. What should I do? Well, to be honest, um... I think that you need to visit the psychologist. Psychology, yeah, because you know people think that uh, psycho come on, psychology, psychologist, psychologist is just for crazy mind. But I think that I think it's important to improve uh, or 
uh, feelings or emotions? Emotions. Or emotion, yeah. And maybe you need to work something specific things. And they could help you. Okay. It's for me the best option. That's nice. That's nice. As long as they don't leave me pills, otherwise. No, no. Actually, I, 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 I guess that psychologists can't. They don't. They don't. Psychiatrists are the ones who. Yes. 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 It's, it's prescribe different. Prescribe so. you pills. Yeah. It's, Being yeah. there, done that. <laughs> no, but in the first time you need to talk with uh, pars parcial, parcial, una persona parcial. Mm. Yeah. An, an interested party. An interested part. Party. Party. Yeah, party, party, yeah, mm, like this. Yeah. yeah, let me, let me fix it for you. Or maybe if you have good friends looking for one that you knows that he or she has a good relationship with with her with see with her or with his couple and maybe partner, partner. couple of partners okay. Okay, and maybe they they could help you more than me. Okay, <laughs> look, I texted in the in the chat. Yes. Annie Thursday party. Annie Thursday party. This is como persona parcial. Mm, yep, yeah. una parte no interesada. Okay, pero party party es como fiesta, ¿no? Yeah, but in this case no. In this case, okay. it's parte. Okay, okay. Thank you. No, oh, thanks to you. Good advice, good advice. Okay. Now, let's see. Ana Claudia, where are you? I'm here, teacher. Okay, you know, Ana Claudia, you you have been a friend of my family for a long while mm -hmm. but uh, my wife got a complaint from me okay and she's asking for your advice and she what she tells you is this my husband that's me doesn't help with households what should she do first of all I'm a lazy guy, you know, I just come home from work and as soon as I get in, I take off my shirt, my shoes, I leave them in the in the living room and my backpack, I leave it there in the right in the entrance by the garage, you know, and my socks are like uh, are like here in the studio. So mm -hmm. what should she do? First of all, talk with you and let you know how it didn't work hmm? didn't work she does it every single uh, day okay so in that case what i will do is no it's uh, uh leave your stuff in one specific part of the or maybe i, I maybe what i will do is get those things into your car <laughs> or maybe in a bag, and that bag will be in your side of the bed. <laughs> okay. And I won't be washing any of those clothes until you do it. I won't be cleaning nothing <laughs> where all things are. And I will maybe, if uh, someone comes to visit me, I won't be cleaning that. It's important people know how your behavior is. <laughs> You know, you used to be my friend. Now you are just her friend. You are not my friend no more. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Now we are going to change the activity. Okay, we are going to still be working on conversation, but I got something a little bit different for you. Okay, let's see. We are going to talk about anger. You know, people nowadays they are pretty stressed, and a lot of people. I don't know if you have noticed. I mean, on the street or whatever, people are like pretty toshi moody. I mean, they get mad fast they get angry pretty fast now i want you to discuss these three questions that i got for you the first one what causes anger are there different types of anger what are various ways people respond to anger what do you think okay those three questions we are going to be discussing working in groups okay and I will be moving from group to group to check out how is it going on. If you need my help, just give me a holder, okay? Groups are open, please jump in. Al fin de... <laughs> yes. Let's I, talk. I, hmm? I have... Susana is a very angry person, you know. She's always <gasps> no. wild with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. All I the have time. a... A guess? A, a difícil... Hard? Hard is weak. Oh, yes. really? Yes. Oh, is. yeah. Closing, right? Yes, DJ, but, uh, but it's a uh, fun, fun finally. Uh, the, excuse me? Final? Final? Final is the trimestre? How do you say trimestre? Water. 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 Okay. okay. Water. Water. Sí, yes. No, water. 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 Como la water. Water. Ah, yeah. okay. Choir. Así que, it's a diffie. <laughs> I... Uh, I think her. Oh, the most angry person is talking, Maria Alejandra. She's always mad at something. Yes, but you know my other face. <laughs> yeah, she's always angry and complaining about everything. <laughs> I'm so sorry for Henry and Stephanie because they got here the two most angry ladies <laughs> you can encounter. Nah. <laughs> Teacher, my reputation. Um, I'm angry. I'm angry for my bad connection. Uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, Roxana works for uh, those companies. You can complain to her right now. Do it. Mm. Uh, uh, arrive, they arrive late, uh, that means a uh, discount at the end of the month. So people, the traffic jam, get mad. <laughs> Just say receive the pop-up and I, I accept it. Hello, what? teacher, how are you? What did you accept, you said? Uh, no, that I only received the paper that to join the group and I accepted. Oh, you didn't see the question? Okay, you gotta be careful because this topic is very toshi, particularly with Heidi, you know, she's a very <laughs> angry person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and there's Amber also here, you know, Amber is delicate, right, Amber? Mm -hmm. And Amber goes like, no, 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 I'm cool. No. <laughs> okay. No. What, what is the activity, teacher? Sorry, but fine. We have, we have to talk about the types of anger. Yeah, what causes anger? What causes? What, do you, 
Yeah, what do you think uh, makes people to, to experience anger, to be angry? I mean, disagreement, they... for example. I'm sorry, disagreement. A disagreement? Yeah. What about stress? Stress? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that happens to Jose Wilfredo. He's always mad, you know. <laughs> No, me. I'm all the time. Easy, busy. Cool. And you yeah. are also going to talk about what are various ways people respond to anger. Mm -hmm. Various ways people respond to anger. Mm -hmm. yeah, people respond, respond to themselves. Okay, if I if I am if I'm angry. And I go, I'm angry because, you know, your bank is giving me problems. I go to your office and I'm very angry. How are you going to, to respond to that? How do you manage that situation? I receive that kind of... Complaint. I know that is something that you don't see. Almost never. every day. Almost okay. every day. How do you manage and this I, um, The the day before yesterday, this lady came to my office and, and she offered me to bring the media and the authorities to, the, to, to my branch. She was so mad, so, so mad. And she was telling us that the bank had, had made a, a, a fraud to her. She was very, very mad. And I told her, listen, I'm going to help you. I, I am compromising with you that I will help you, but this gets a process. And I explained to her and I helped her and I, thanks God, I, I, I solved it. Not as, as fast as she wanted, but I solved it. She was very angry. She was very angry and, and I was scared because of what she was telling me. Of she was course, too. of course. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to, to deal with people like that, right? Yeah, but you know something? That's my it's, it's, it's my specialty. My specialty, yeah. Uh -huh. Special. You know, the next day, this same lady that had offered me the authorities and the media brought me a gift. Already? And now she's my friend. <laughs> Believe it or not. Yeah, you are pretty. Oh, well, yeah, you are, you are pretty good at that. Okay, then yeah. I will never go to your branch because I love being yeah. angry at people at banks. Man, nah. yeah. actually, I just have one dealing. I mean, I just deal with your bank just for one reason, and it's not a problem. <laughs> Most of my Fights, I got it with another bank, with your competence, man. This is with me. the enemy. <laughs> yeah, they this is me totally. <laughs> but what can I do? Okay, I'll go check yeah. in the rest of the groups. Okay. Keep talking, guys. So what causes didn't work and and I I angry but but I don't uh como sería tocar el claxon que si me enojo pero no toco el claxon algo así I get anger but I don't honk to people honk. I get anger honk. but don't honk, honk. Honk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because. Okay, honk. I get angry by, but I don't honk. Okay. In the other question, are there different types of anger? Uh, I think that yes. I think something like that. I think the question is um, 
who will be uh, different levels of language. Mm -hmm. Yes. It could yeah. be by levels. And some people get crazy <laughs> at, the, at the maximum um, level, right? The maximum level. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. Yeah, you honk at me and I get my gun out, you know. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean you start honking at me and man I get I get out of my car, you know, with a big bar. <laughs> <laughs> so I was I was saying that that I have this same reaction when someone is honking. So I, I like, I blow off immediately. So I don't have like patient to like wait. Uh, I don't know. To be, honest, so, to be honest with you, I am pretty patient. I am pretty patient when I'm driving. I mean, uh, once I was telling your classmates uh, last module that in like more than 20 years driving, there's never been a traffic jam that has stressed me, that has pissed me off. I mean, and I've been in traffic jams like for three, four hours. And I'm like, no problem. I mean, once I had to turn off the car, you know, I turned off the car, went out of the car, went uh, to the shade of a tree, lay down and rest because it was so long and i mean that doesn't stress me yes people honking at me stress me a little bit because i don't usually honk i mean you got eyes you can see that there's a big line in front mm -hmm. of you yeah. you don't need to be honking mm -hmm. i mean i don't usually do it because i know that some people get pretty stressed I, as you say some people blow up it's just a honking at them. Yeah. But I, I think that is, so we know so that once we are seeing so that a big line, so we don't have to honk, right? Because it is a horrible traffic. But the thing is that once you try to move or turn, turn up, no, turn the right, is turn up the right or the left, right? Once you want to move to a different location, so in day honking, so like I think that so it's kind of frustrated when they do that. So because you, I feel angry. So when the situation happen, because I know so that there is no traffic or yeah. someone in front of me. So, but once they make those uh, reactions like honking, so I feel like anger. anger. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I understand you. Uh, to show how, how, how we can say like that like people like Pacific, like Pacific is the word I think, but always patient. Patient, patient, patient people. Patient. Okay. Because I know so, and. <laughs> And I do understand so that it's really important to have control of that situation because I was telling, I was explaining so some reactions uh, with uh, Jacqueline. So you know, so that once someone is honking, so it's like because they are in a hurry, or sometimes there are uh, desesperado. How can I say? Desperate. Desperate. So they are doing that, but sometimes we don't know. So once that person like is a police or has a weapon, so that probably will, we will have a problem, right? So when, once we are like doing the same thing that they are doing, probably will. will. Dominican Republic? Oh. Wow. Hi, teacher. We changed the topic. Yeah, I can. I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> but we finished the the topics. <laughs> Let's go back. 
Okay. What happened to you? You left the salon over there. I'm sure. Yes, you did. Ah. Hmm. It wasn't me. Now, you know, sometimes when I click on bring everybody, uh, usually the system is supposed to give you 60 seconds to. But depending on your connection, I guess some of you kicks you back immediately. Okay, let's see, well, anger. What causes anger nowadays? What do you think, guys? What, are, what is something that gets people angry? Jose Wilfredo, tell me, what's your opinion? Yeah, okay, in my opinion, teacher, uh, some people, well, uh, like I drive a lot, I could say that maybe when you, uh, took the horn with the other when isn't necessary. Maybe that could be an uh, makes them angry. Okay, well, you know, actually, a couple of persons mentioned exactly the same thing. Thank uh -huh. you. Ana Claudia, okay. what do you think gets people angry? Uh, Sometimes it's because they cannot handle their stress uh, or um, um, they don't practice like um, ways to, uh, to handle the, the bad situation. They are not prepared and, and there is a reaction. We were talking with, with uh, uh, Susana about Will Smith's situation that mm -hmm. Uh -huh. He was anger, and really? the ang he, he was angry. No, he was angry. Oh my God! <laughs> angry. He was angry. Uh, angry too. <laughs> he was okay. angry, and the way how people react that is just the situation. Some people react with violence. They can also use a weapon, or some people react with profound words. And it depends, but the anger, it will be the same. But people, we need to 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 educate ourselves and handle it when it comes. Okay. okay, interesting, interesting. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, 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 well. I got us. Uh something related to e-commerce, okay? Because that's something, uh, that's part of the, 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 the topic we've been talking in the lesson, in the manual. And I'm going to share with you, it's a small exercise. It's going to take us just like five minutes tops. Okay, the exercise is this, building vocabulary, okay? Label the, the descriptions with the correct name of the job, okay? So, we have different types of job here, and these are related to digital marketing. Actually, we are talking about e-commerce specials. Now, we got us here, data analyst, content manager, web designer, chief digital officer, web manager, community manager. Okay, and here we got us the concepts. What I need you to do is to work in the same groups you've been working and label them, okay? Do the matching. You're going to have four minutes for these activities, quite easy. And I'm going to send you the screenshot right now. Please, four minutes, hurry up.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An, an individual who builds, <coughs> manage only communities. Oh. Mm -hmm. Community manager? Yes, I think yes. Well, okay, the first one is community manager. Okay. The second, this job is mainly related to the styling and layout of page with content, including text mm. and images. Mm. Oh. Mm. Web designer. For me, web designer. No. Let me see. Which one? Uh, web designer. The number the two. One. Yep. Second. Web the designer. And the second from for me is web designer. And the third and the third one maybe data analyst. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and the third one, someone who supervises content manager. No. See. Si. No. Web oh, manager. No, yes, yes, no. <laughs> this, this person collects processes and performs okay. statistical analysis of data. Is data analyzed? Yep, yeah, data analyzed. analyzed. Perfect. Analyst. Someone who supervises the content present on websites and blogs. When designing. Number four. Number 14. Number four is not web designer. Web manager. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Chief digital officer. Okay. Number four, someone who supervises the content presented on websites and blogs. That's the content manager. Mm -hmm. So number four, the person who supervises the content presented on websites and blog is the content manager. And number two uh, is a web this no is a web designer. Web designer, right? Yeah. Yeah, because if you notice the keyword in this one is styling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This the five an individual who helps a company grow by converting traditional businesses to digital ones. If digital digital Chief, perfect. Mm -hmm. A person is charged of developing. Managing and maintaining a website is web manager. It may make mid 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 term. No, no. Haven't mm -hmm. you completed a mid term? Oh, te me falta. Creo que hasta ese llegar. Ah, okay, so you must complete the, all this part number three. Because this week is all number three in the platform. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What you got? Uh, we have a, for number one. We think it's the community manager. Uh -huh. Number two, we think 
is web designer. Okay. And the number three is content manager. No. 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 Okay, let's try to find out which other one is grown. Uh, number four, web manager. No. Ah, okay. <laughs> number five, chief digital officer. Yes. Okay. And the number six, data analyst. Uh -huh. <gasps> My God. Uy. Hey, Susana. No, it's a six. Hmm? It's Ana Claudia's fault. No, come on. We've been discussing all of this. Three que tenemos mal. Number three, number four, and number six. Okay, six. number three. This... Okay, I think that all of them are correct. Mm -hmm. We are done. Yeah. Okay. I agree. Signing of layout of pages. Two. We finished. Uh, yes. 60 seconds. Just one minute. Sorry, 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 guys. This thing's acting up right now. Let's see. Let's do the exercise together. Okay, number one. Ambar, what you got for number one? Um, an, an individual who Builds, grows, and manage online communities is community manager. Okay, we got us community manager. Five correct. Excellent, excellent. Now let's see, Francisco, what you got for number two? Francisco Eduardo. The teacher, I'm here, sorry. <laughs> I just come to my to my work. Uh, but number two, right? Yep. Okay, uh, web designer. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, yep, web designer. Yes, web, web designer. Yes, web designer, teacher. Thank you. Web designer. That's the, this job is mainly related to the styling and layout of pages with content, including text and images. Perfect. Stephanie, you got number three. Yes, the number three is data analyst. Okay, data analyst. Perfect, thank you. And let's see, 
Mr. Rivas, you got number four. Yes. Uh, Please read it, complete. Sure. Someone who supervise the content present on the website and blogs. So is like a content manager. Okay, perfect. Content manager. Excellent. Let's see, Heidi, you got number five. Please read it. Okay, Maria Alejandra, number five, please. Chief Digital Officer. Okay, but read the, 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 ah, the okay, definition. An okay. individual who helps a company grow by converting traditional businesses to digital ones. Is Chief it's Digital, digital Officer. Officer. Uh -huh. Perfect, thank you. And the last one, um, Susana, please read number six. Okay, is uh, number six a person in share of the de developing, managing, <laughs> and maintaining <laughs> website? Okay. It's a web manager. A person in charge of developing, managing, and maintaining websites. Perfect. Stephanie, would you mind reading number three, please? Okay. Number three. This person collects processes and performs statistical analysis of data. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Statistical. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. That worries like that. Excellent. Very well done, guys. Now, let's see, we still have a few minutes to spare, and as we do, okay, let's see. We've been talking about anger and what makes people get angry, but now we're going to get like a little bit personal. Ambar, hello, Ambar, you're around? Hello. Hello, Ambar. I got a question for you. Tell me, Ambar. Uh, what do you usually do when you get angry? Mm -hmm. In my case, when when I when I am angry, uh, I usually be an impatient person because my stress. <laughs> I don't know. It's high. It's high, yes. And I I desperate. I don't know oh, it's really? correct. Yeah, I yes. get desperate. I get desperate. I get desperate, yes. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. What about you? Um Let's see. Stephanie, what do you do when you get angry? In my case, I prefer, <laughs> I was talking with um, I, an actor, I think, and Roxana, that I prefer to be alone and think about what I wanted to say and analyze the situation. <laughs> okay, Maria Alejandra, what's your point? Oh, yes, sorry, Maria Alejandra. Yeah, I know, I know. No, I get forget. confused with the num with the names always because I think I don't know. I get confused. <laughs> don't worry, that happens. Okay, you get along, but you say, okay, let's see, Nicolas, what do you do when you get angry? Your microphone, please. Well, uh, yeah, thank you. Well, in in this case, I prefer no. No, uh, change the opinion with other persons. For
for me is necessary uh, stay stay uh, solo. How do you say? Alone. Alone. Uh, stay alone. Uh, I need uh, prepare my condition, my mind with the the forest, with the the wine. I prefer stay alone. Yeah, you need to relax first. Okay, perfect, excellent. Okay, guys, it's been a very, very interesting class. And I'm so glad that you could stay here with me. Let me get the final attendance, please. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Mayri Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Henry Neftalí Mendez Torres. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorco. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Nicolás Satilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Belwin Frank Figueroa Peñate. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Okay, guys. Let's see. It's been a pleasure for me to have you here in class. Uh, I expect to see you here tomorrow. And please, the one who have not finished the platform, work in the platform, please do it. Remember that on fr for Friday, I will be checking up to section three. So right now you must have finished section one, section two and midterm. Thank you very much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, good night. Good night, good night. everybody. Thank you. Good night, good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. I have a question. Yeah, and somebody else was asking me, but I don't know what happened. Okay, what's your question, my friend? Uh, uh, when start the holiday from the classes? From the oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next week. Oh, oh next, next week. Yeah, five days. Oh, okay, okay. And Don't worry, I will to... send you the, the info in the, in, the, in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Um, by the end of this week, we have... We... To have finished the third section. Yep. Okay. okay. If you got any question, let me know. No, thanks okay. to you for being here. Have a good night. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Good, good night. Bye, guys. No, Jose.
Yeah. It's time, nobody say it tonight, but we'll see, perhaps somebody says tomorrow. Right, so tomorrow. Okay.